here we go. This is a new game called Seawolf VR. VR, of course, stands for Virtual Reality. I decided to give this game a tryout using my new Quest 2 headset. This game uses a storage simulation name, but it is not a simulation. Seawolf VR is an arcade game that came out last year and it's only $3, so you really don't have anything to lose. I pay more than that when I tip for lunch. The game's set up to where your head and neck area are the targets that the enemy's trying to impact. This allows you opportunities to move and flex to get out of the way. If an enemy mine or torpedo or depth charge strikes you in that area, that counts against your three lives. Your left controller manages a mine, which is your shield against enemy ordnance. At your feet, you have a compass. Your right controller manages your submarine, which is using torpedoes or vertical launch missiles. Torpedoes are slower, but you get more of them and it's easier to aim the submarine. To shoot missiles, you have to cock the submarine over at quite an angle. That makes it really hard to aim. But they are fast, so it's easier to hit what you're aiming at. Every time you sink an enemy ship or submarine, you get additional refills. The first mission is named Piece of Cake, which is apt because it's a good intro mission. It's pretty easy to get through it. The ambiance and sound effects are the best part of the game. It sounds a lot better playing it than it does listening to the video. Here's what I mean by aiming the submarine to use missiles. Oh, that was a lucky shot. It usually takes one or two shots to get the right angle. And of course, if you have to switch off to a different target, then you kind of start over. And you've only got a limited number of shots, so you do have to make them count. You get a lot more refills on torpedoes than you do missiles when you hit ships. So consider the missiles a premium. Some of the surface ships go really fast, so you have to use missiles to have any chance of hitting them. Oh yeah, that took him out. Took both of them out. Alright, I've got one sub. I just need to get the other sub. There, I've got him. I just have to manage one incoming torpedo. Whoever heard of using mines to deflect torpedoes? So there we go, first mission complete. Now we get a little bit more of a challenge. As you can see, that surface ship's already gone past us, so I need to nail him first. Now if you miss one or two surface ships, you don't have to panic. They will come back around if you have enough time. The primary thing you need to remember is don't use up all your weapons before you finish sinking all the ships. Another thing I try to do is hit the submarines at long range because as they come closer they continually fire torpedoes and you'll find that very distracting when you're trying to nail those surface ships that are zipping by. The surface ships drop the depth charges in a random patterns whereas the submarines have homing torpedoes they'll come look for you. There goes a the depth charge. Looks like a vitamin pill, doesn't it? There we go. Got to keep that torpedo at arm's length. All right. I can get him easy. He's moving slow and he's close. And I've got plenty of torpedoes and three lives left. Right, let's go ahead and take that guy out. May as well take out that Soviet spy shark too. Okay, the mission hasn't ended, so that means somebody else is up there somewhere. Each mission ends when you sink all the ships, or if you run out of time, but then you fail the mission. Bad thing is, if you fail a mission, you have to start all the way at the beginning again. That is a little annoying. This game doesn't have underwater physics. It's more like being in space. All right, where is this guy? Oh, I missed three of them, I guess. Well, that's okay, I've got lots of torpedoes. But I have to get them on this pass. I don't think I have enough time to make a third run. Trick is, as long as they're approaching you, your torpedoes aren't gonna run out of range. But if you let them get past you, and you're chasing them with torpedoes, there's a pretty good chance they'll get away from you. There 
There we go. Oh, that noise was me banging into something by my desk. You know how these VR goggles are, you can't tell what's going on around you. Alright, bloody rain. Man, that sounds terrible. I don't really want to be here. Alright, there's one tanger going really slow, and a couple subs in the distance, and a slew of ships going fast. I need to get those suckers with one or two shots. There we go. Now, be straight up. I did start playing this game about an hour or so before I started making this video. I was having hell getting OBS synced up with Quest to record this. I finally figured out how to do it. It seems to be working pretty well. Sound quality is not as good as I'd like. This game definitely sounds better to play it than it does to watch the video of it. All right, let's see here. I don't know if I can get that guy or not. Oh, baby, look out. Dodging torpedoes in mines and depth charges, it's not too difficult, but the problem is sometimes the torpedoes, when they go past you, they'll circle back around. So you have to have your head on a swivel all the time, checking on the torpedoes that you successfully dodged. So if you let a sub slip over you, they'll shoot you from above. And even with VR, it's hard to look straight up. And with depth charges, you can see the ships dropping them off near you and in the distance, and they don't really look like much of a threat. But when the ships pass overhead and they drop them, you don't really know they're coming until they get there. That's why every now and then it'll make me jump when I see one close aboard. This is a particularly difficult mission. Subs are all around you, and they're off in the distance, and they start firing torpedoes almost right away. And some of the merchant ships above you are going really fast. So you can see, this is not a submarine simulation. It's not even a submarine game, really. It's really just a shooting game in a simplified naval setting. Ah, see, that's what I mean. There's one of those sneaky torpedoes that almost got me. All right, time for a quick sweep around. Ah, there you go, see? He's already floated above me. That torpedo would come out of nowhere. Ah, something just got me. Not sure what it was. Somebody else is out there. I gotta finish them off. Here we go. Finish off the three stooges. I don't have any missiles left, but I got plenty of torpedoes. to get really nervous when they're directly overhead. All right, I got him. Next level. Oh boy. Missions are definitely scripted. Nothing varies from mission to mission. So far, nothing has come up from behind me in the Marianas Trench. Now tell me that's not ominous. Lots of pinging, torpedoes coming out of the dark. This is where the action really gets heavy. Now that I've had plenty of practice, I may be heavily outnumbered, but I'm not too worried about that. Huh, well, that takes care of that. Let me take one more shot at it. 
I don't know how many missions are in this game, but I do hope to find out. Now I've got to definitely dodge these things without using my mine because it only has five saves on it until I start hitting some submarines. Then I'll get more saves. So I have to be really careful about this. And also I have to make sure I don't run into the cabinet next to me. If I can just get two or three of those subs real quick, I'll get a whole lot of saves. Plus I'll have less torpedoes coming at me. That's enough for today. I hope you got a good sampling of what this game's about. If it's interesting to you, let me know. You might have already played this game. It's been out a year, so give me an idea of what you think about the game if you've enjoyed it. It's only three bucks. I mean, it's not going to hurt your 401k. Other than that, that's all I've got for today, my friend. Good hunting, and don't forget to close the hatch.